The Taririhau Wind Farm near Palmerston North in New Zealand has 65 two-bladed Windflow 500 turbines, each of 33 metre rotor diameter and 47 metre tip height. Juxtaposed with about 180 three bladers of various sizes on the Manawatu saddle. As such, it provides a unique example of the landscape effects created by two bladers. This video illustrates these effects so as to address a number of questions such as Is it okay to mix large numbers of two bladers and three bladers in a landscape? Does the motion of the two bladers create significant different visual effects? How do these vary with viewing distance? Seen side by side with three bladed turbines, the Windflow 500's design is readily distinguished by its different size and speed of rotation, as well as by the number of its blades. The lack of design conformity is not, however, an issue, and it is a subjective question as to whether this creates a visual confusion or visual interest under any conditions. This is very much affected by the viewing point especially since the Manawatu saddle wind farms spread over an area of about 16 kilometers long by 3 kilometers wide. In this topography, one needs to be 10 to 20 kilometers away to be able to see the spread of wind farms along the saddle. In terms of obtrusiveness, the two bladers are often overlooked by the general public compared to the three bladers with 90 meter rotors and 110 meter tip heights. Note that there are significant visual differences among the three bladers. The RPM of the Windflow 500 turbines, 48 to 51 RPM, is slightly higher than a similar sized three blader, but well below the psychologically important 60 to 70 per minute of the normal human heartbeat. Again, the question of rotor speed is very subjective. What seems slow and stately to one person can seem slow and lazy to another. What seems fast and frenetic to one person seems busy and industrious to another. If we focus on the wind farm of two bladers, as seen from this location about 9 kilometers away, one can form one's own opinion as to whether one likes the two bladed motion more or less than the majority three bladers, or whether one is indifferent, viewing it as simply a matter of geometric interest. This shot of an individual Windflow 500 in the landscape allows one to assess its visual effect in the British landscape when installed in ones or twos for the feed-in tariff market. As it is a mid-sized turbine, around 50 to 70 metres to blade tip, it does not tend to dominate its surroundings and has a smaller zone of visual influence than larger multi-megawatt turbines. In addition, when the wind is too light or strong for generation, this two-bladed turbine parks its blades horizontally and flat, reducing its visual impact even further. The Windflow 500 has many features which are accepted as being aesthetically pleasing in three bladers, such as the uniformly tapered tower, streamlined nacelle design and blades which are upwind of and of similar maximum width as the tower. Are these aesthetic ingredients more or less important to their visual acceptability than the number of blades? You be the judge. When viewed from below and within 100 metres, there is a perspective effect which applies to three bladers as well, but is more pronounced with the two blader. This is that the bottom blade of each revolution seems to sweep down in an accelerated manner. This is a perspective effect or illusion because it is to do with the angle subtended by the human eye whereby each blade appears to move faster on the bottom half of the rotor than it does when sweeping across the top half. It is not particularly disconcerting because it has a regularity to it, but it often provokes the curious to ask why the movement seems to vary. Given that this effect is much less noticeable as half a kilometre away, this is not so much a landscape issue for the general public as an object of interest for those who choose to get up close to the turbines. The further one is from a turbine, the less this illusion of varying rotor speed. Finally, it is worth noting that the Windflow 500 uses innovative load reducing technologies which were first developed in Britain in the 1980s to produce a turbine with 50 to 70 percent of the weight per unit output relative to three bladers. In terms of fundamental production cost and reduced environmental impact, 
tens of tons of materials go into each turbine, this meets the test of engineering elegance. In the light of the three bladers' greater use of the Earth's resources, it is somewhat ironic that European and North American subsidies, which are environmentally motivated, have enabled it to become the mainstream option. However, because the environmental impact of the materials used in wind turbine construction is far outweighed by their environmental benefits over 20 years, this is not a decisive factor. Similarly, we do not believe the number of blades should be a decisive factor in deciding landscape issues. In keeping with those old adages about form following function and beauty being in the eye of the beholder, Windflow Technology Limited is proud to promote its turbine for the British market and hopes it will be seen as enhancing rather than detracting from the landscapes appropriate for such wind power developments. In summary, the Windflow 500 is mid-size and generally visually unobtrusive compared to large multi-megawatt turbines. It is of elegant design with aesthetically pleasing features. Visual effects particular to two-bladed turbines are aesthetically subjective and typically noticed only when in very close proximity to the turbine. Each wind project should be assessed on its relative environmental benefits and impacts regardless of the number of blades. The Windflow 500, the future of wind energy generation.